In this lecture, I want to talk with you about how to save PowerPoint slides as high quality 300 DPI JPEG images. First, I'm going to just show you how to save PowerPoint as JPEG images. Then I'm going to show you how to knock the DPI up to the 300 DPI that is needed to do book covers and print quality images. Now, I use PowerPoint as a general purpose graphics editor. I use it to create book covers. I used it to create the thumbnails. I used it to create this slide, which I'm right now displaying. So most of the time I use it for slides, but I use it for book covers. I use it for thumbnails. I use it for card images on Udemy. I use it as my general purpose graphics editor now. And the reason is, is that I can generate high quality output from it. Now I'm going to jump over to PowerPoint and I'm going to show you how to generate output. And then I'm going to show you how to make that output high quality. So here I am in PowerPoint. I just jumped out of displaying this slide. And you can see that I can use it to create various slides and memes and so on, anything else that I want by navigating the slide panel over here on the left and working on the slides in the work area. Now, let's say I create a new slide. Let's make this simple. And I get rid of what's already here and let's say I do some drawing. So let's uh, get a marker and here we go. We've got a scribble and I want to print this scribble. Now, most of the time when I get done with a scribble like this, I go to here and I say save. Now let's do save as and say browse so that we can see that it's saving it as a type of PowerPoint presentation or PPTX. Only PowerPoint can read this kind of file. So it's not very useful for graphics that you want to display in other programs like, I don't know, maybe on the web or something or on Facebook. So you need JPEG images or something like that. A, a PNG image would be just fine. And how do you generate that? Instead of saying save, we'll cancel the save, I go to export. And here I can say, change the file type. I can export as a GIF. I'm gonna to come to export, click on change file type. And you can see here, I can export to all kinds of different file types, including PNG and JPEG, the most popular file types out there. Now, if I double click on JPEG, it brings up where I want to save it and see I'm saving it now as a JPEG image. When I save this image now, I can import it into other programs as a JPEG and use it. So save your work to work on it in PowerPoint. Do a save as and make sure that you're saving as PPTX and then export as type JPEG or PNG and specify the file where you want to save it. Now, this works great for displaying things on the web and so on at low resolution because uh, PowerPoint exports by default at 96 DPI or PPI, points per inch. That's how dense or the resolution of the image is. So we need to have 300 DPI at least to do print quality. So if I want to do book covers and so on and print them, I need to jack this up to 300 DPI. How do I do that? Well, it turns out that Microsoft has provided a solution to this on the web. Now, getting to the URL, the URL is a little complicated. So the easiest way to get to this is just to say change PowerPoint JPEG resolution to 300 DPI. When I enter this, here's a video, a competing video. And then here at learnmicrosoft.com is the link that you want. If you go here, it will explain all the steps that you've got to go through to change the resolution to 300 DPI. And unfortunately, it isn't really simple. Well, it is really simple, but it's not as simple as it should be, like set an option somewhere. Instead, what you've got to do is run a program called Reg edit and edit your registry. So 
To get there, I click on the Start menu. This is Windows 11, so the Start menu is in the middle. If you're running Windows 10, it'll be on the far left on the bottom. And I type Reg Edit. And here's the registry edit editing program. I left click on that to run it and give it access. Now, this is what's the part that's a little complicated, is depending on the version of PowerPoint that you're running, PowerPoint 2007, 2003, 2010, 2013, or 19, and so on. We're going to use the latest because that's what I'm running. You go to this directory path within the registry. So here I have H key current user. After that, I have software that I open up by clicking on the little open arrow here. And I go to Microsoft. And I open that. And I go to Office, OP, Office, 16 for the latest. And I want PowerPoint. And finally, I want Options. Now, don't let this intimidate you. This is really quite simple. I just go down and I select and open this directory path in the registry. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this new value. So I'm going to add a new double word. I come here to Options, and I go to New, and I go to New on the Edit menu, and I want a new double word, and I want the word to be called this, Export bit Bitmap Resolution. So I'm going to select that, right copy, and copy it. Select Modify on the Edit menu. Oh, I'm going to, sorry, I'm going to type this value. So rename. I'm going to paste the value that I've got, which is Export Bitmap Resolution. And I press Enter. Now it says that I already have it because I've already set this before. So let's set it to just so I can show you this bitmap resolution 2. Now nothing will read this. It won't hurt anything to have it sitting around. It just won't be read by anything. Now pretend this is bitmap resolution. What I do is I click on it. I right click and I say Modify, or I can say Modify from the Edit menu. Let's do that instead. And then what I want is a decimal value of 300. And I say OK. And at that point, I have now configured a PowerPoint to export at 300 DPI because I have this enable bitmap. Here it is right here is my actual setting. And I created enable bitmap two to show you how to set it. Now, once you're done with that, you get out of the registry and I shut down PowerPoint and I restart it again. Now, when I export images, I'm going to be exporting 300 DPI images. And what I can do is I can make sure that I'm doing that. Let's get out of our little drawing here. Go back to our thumbnails and let's open a thumbnail in a program that actually recognizes DPI. So here I am in the GIMP, a free high uh, uh, function editor, graphics editor, and I'm going to come down to image size, image, scale image. And here we can see that the resolution right now is 300 DPI of this image. That was a lot of work to go through just to show you that we're now exporting 300 DPI images. Now, the last thing that I want to show you is that this is really cool. What I can do is I can create multiple slides. For instance, here are all my slides for all of my YouTube uh, thumbnails for the videos that I'm uploading to YouTube. I can go File, Export, Change File Type, 
to JPEG. Now it's exporting as JPEG. And then when I say save, now let's export this. It says, do I want to export just this one slide that I'm on, this slide right here? Or do I want to export all slides? And I say all slides. And it goes kerchunk, kerchunk, kerchunk. See this little bar progressing here as it goes through? Now what it's doing is it's created a directory instead it's created a directory instead of a single file. And in that directory are all my images named slide one through slide nine. So this is cool. You can create a bunch of book covers that are all related and export them all to a directory. And you've got multiple book covers. And now you're exporting at 300 DPI because you set that regedit function. I hope this helps and I'll see you in the next lecture.